Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look at these exercises right here. We're still subtracting a double digit number from a triple digit number, but here look carefully. Notice that 85 is bigger than 57, 76 is bigger than 62, 32 is bigger than 28, and 74 is bigger than 22. So how do we do that? Well, there's some various techniques, but I'll show you some very nice little tricks. Before we do that, however, let's take a look and see how we normally would do that writing it down on a piece of paper longhand. We would write it like this. We would take the number 257 and subtract 85 from that. The way you do that is you go to the last numbers. We take 7 minus 5, that gives me 2. 5 minus 8, well I can't do that so I have to go borrow 1 from the number before. So this becomes, I'm going to borrow 1, that becomes a 1 and this becomes 15. 15 minus 8 is 7 and then the remaining 1 minus 0 is 1, and the answer is 172. That's how we would normally do this, writing it on a piece of paper. But can we do this without having to do that? There is a way, and the way I would is the following. 85 is 15 less than 100, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 100 from 257. 257 minus 100, but wait a minute, I'm subtracting 15 more than I should, then I have to add 15 back to that, so plus 15. 257 minus 100, that gives me 157 plus 15, well 157 plus 10 gives me 167, that's 167 plus 5, 5 plus 7 is 12, that becomes 172, and that is my answer. So that's how I work this problem out in my head. I simply subtract more from it and then I add the difference back later. Same over here, what I can say, what I can, the way I can think about it is as follows. I can say that this is 462 minus 100, but I subtracted 24 more than I should, I add the 24 back. This becomes 462 minus 100, that makes it 362, but I have to add another 24 to it, so 6 plus 2 is 8, and 2 plus 4 is 6, the answer is 386. 462 minus 76 is 386. Kind of nice method. Same over here, but slightly different because here 32 and 28 are almost the same number. 32 is just 4 bigger than 28. So what I can do is I can subtract 28 and then I can subtract 4 more. I can think of it as follows. 528 minus 28 and minus 4. Because 528 minus 28 gives me 500 and then subtract 4 from that, and that's easy to do. 500 minus 4 is simply 496, and that is the answer, 496. So the way I look at it is, wow, I subtract 28 first, that gives me 500, now I have to subtract 4 more, 500 minus 4 is 496, and that's the answer. But if the number is big like this, close to 100, then again I use a technique where I subtract 100 from it, and then add the difference later. 822 minus 100 plus the difference here is 26, so I add another 26 to it because I subtracted 26 more than I should have. 822 minus 100 is 722, that becomes 722 plus 26. 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 6 is 8, this becomes 748. Again, without writing any of that down, I simply subtract 100, that gives me 822, the difference is 26. 22 plus 26, 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 6 is 8, 748. Again, that takes a little practice. You may look at that and go, wow, I'll never be able to do that. That is just too much stuff hand that I have to handle in my head. And the answer is at this point, you're probably correct. It is not that easy initially, but with some practice, you'll be amazed what you're able to do. And that's what it's all about. Practice, 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 and you get better at it. Here I'm just showing you the techniques that eventually you can employ. When it really comes down to it, let's say you have to do a problem like this and you really can't remember this technique, don't panic. You can always fall back to, always fall back to your old technique. For example, if you don't remember how to do it like this, you can simply say, all right, I'll just go 462 minus 76. 2 minus 6, I can't do that. I have to go borrow 1. This becomes a 5. This becomes 12. 12 minus 6 gives me 6. 5 minus 7 can't do that, I have to go borrow 1, this becomes 3, this becomes 15, 15 minus 7, that gives me 8, 3 minus 0 is 3, 386 is the answer that I was looking for. You can always fall back to a technique that you know how to do, 
But if you can learn how to do it like this quickly in your head, it'll make it that much more powerful in handling all kinds of mathematics and later on handling all kinds of sciences. If you can come up with these kind of techniques and these clever techniques, 32 is the same as 28 and 4, so subtract 28 first, then subtract 4, or you can say that I'm going to subtract 100 first and then add the 26 later. 822 minus 100 is 722, add 26, I get 748, and that's the answer. That's how it's done.